He has always been one of the fans' favorite superheroes, but he never got the kind of movie he deserves. Yes, Nicolas Cage's movies for Ghost Rider were okay and funny, but fans are considering them an embarrassment for a superhero like Johnny Blaze. And that's why, in the past years, the question has been constantly open. Will there be another Ghost Rider movie? Stay with us and find out. Let's start with a quick recap of what happened in the previous two films and a little reminder of who Johnny Blaze is. It's been 15 years since the first Ghost Rider movie was released. That was the first time Nicolas Cage took the leading role of Johnny Blaze. And even though there were big expectations, the movie gathered only bad reviews. Sadly, it was a real flop but somehow it grossed $228 million worldwide. Even Mark Steven Johnson, who made great success by directing Daredevil in 2003, wasn't enough as a name to make a difference. He had some great acting names in the cast, like Eva Mendez and Sam Elliott. And again, that wasn't enough. Johnson knew that when you'll burn yourself on fire, next time you will blow on yogurt. So he learned the lesson and didn't try for a second time. But that wasn't the case with Nicolas Cage, who returned to reprise his role as the flaming skeleton in 2011's Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. And what happened? He fared even worse than in the first film. With a gross of only $137 million against a budget of $57 to $75 million, even a little kid can see that the second film was another hopeless attempt to bring the Ghost Rider character onto the throne. And this is where Cage put a line and said that he officially is done playing the flaming skeleton on a motorbike. You will be the rider for as long as you live. I'm not doing it. You have no choice. But what was the story in Spirit of Vengeance? Here's something quick. Our hero was trying to help a boy and his mother. They are hiding in a Romanian castle with priests and are attacked by a group of thugs. Nicolas Cage is accompanied by Idris Elba in the movie, who plays a ridiculous drunk guy named Moreau. He will tell Johnny that by helping the little boy and his mother, he will be released from the Ghost Rider cursed and it will restore his soul. Johnny will manage to save the mother, Nadia, but the thugs will run away with the boy. Next, Blaze finds out that Nadia is something like him. She also made a deal with the devil. To save her life, she accepted to be impregnated with the devil's son. This is only a little about how things are going in the movie, and you should hit that like button below the video right now. No, really. This short recap is enough to see the lack of story and why there were only bad reviews for the movie. For today's fans of Nicolas Cage's movies, it will be shocking to see that a movie with him has only a 4.3 rating on IMDb and a 31% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. I already told you that the actor took the critics with understanding, and on one occasion, he even said that he isn't a fan of the movie either. Cage shared that together with David Goyer, they had a great idea and a plan for making another Ghost Rider film, but their plan failed because they didn't get a permit. However, the actor thinks that Ghost Rider deserves a future and that another film with another actor in the leading role should happen in the future. Before we take a look if another film is coming soon, let's make a little recap on Johnny Blaze's history. Nicolas Cage's movies are not where we first met him. The Flaming Skeleton has a lot of baggage. He first appeared in Marvel comic book Spotlight back in 1972. He traded his life to the demon Mephisto to save his father's life. And that's how he is turning into a skeleton, under fire, and full of revenge. But he never completely loses himself in the transformation, and as evil as he may seem, he's a good guy. After his appearance in the comic books, Ghost Rider showed up in many other projects, like TV series, animated movies, game adaptations, and besides Nicolas Cage, the character was also portrayed by Thomas McComas in Season 4 of the Marvel TV series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., with more than a decade behind us from the last movie, you all agree that now is the right time for the flame skeleton to ride again. If not a movie that will complete the trilogy, then a whole new film to revive the character and bring his story in a better way. Unfortunately, if you're trying to find any news for a release date, you won't find any. There are even rumors that another film will probably never hit the big screen. But don't take this for granted, as always good things happen for those who wait. And with a character like Ghost Rider, with so much potential, anything is possible. There are a few million ways to bring him back, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe is full of possibilities. 
Yes, we know that they have a busy schedule right now and that they are working on many projects and many premieres. But let's wait a year or two when probably there will be more information. Let's say that Phase 6 is the soonest that it could happen. I already told you that Nicolas Cage has dropped the idea for him to return to the leading role. So who could take his place in the next potential movie for Ghost Rider? So listen up well, as we may have the best news about this. Recently, Keanu Reeves shared his will of playing Ghost Rider in future movie adaptations. According to what he said, you should smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video if you haven't done it by now. No, really, the actor said that it would be a fulfillment of his childhood dream. He shared this information on the Jimmy Kimmel Show, where he was asked about which superhero character that he'd like to play in the future. 10-year-old me would want to, I think he'd probably want to play Ghost Rider, said Reeves. This will surely be the best replacement for Cage, because Johnny Blaze is a character with high standards, and only an actor like Reeves can respond to the challenge. We just hope that Marvel will consider this statement, and they will fulfill Keanu Reeves' childhood dream of becoming Ghost Rider one day. In the end, this is an opportunity that they shouldn't miss. Now, let's say it will happen in the next couple of years, but what kind of story will Ghost Rider 3 bring to the big screens? There are a lot of theories that are floating around, and one of them is that the return of Johnny Blaze will be in the upcoming Blade movie. If this happens and Keanu Reeves portrays the flame skeleton, there's no doubt that he and Mahershala Ali, as Eric Brooks, will be a great duo fighting against some new kind of vampires. According to many, this could be the best way for Ghost Rider to become part of the MCU, as he and Eric Brooks share a lot of history behind each other. Both of them are a part of another group of superheroes similar to the Avengers. They're named the Midnight Suns. Johnny Blaze is the founder of this group, so together with Eric Brooks, they have a bright future. So here's where we come to the second theory, which says that if not in the Blade movie, we could see Ghost Rider back in action exactly in a Midnight Suns film. This group of superheroes could also include Wolverine, Moon Knight, Morbius, Iron Fist, and many more. We could see the whole story from the comic books on the theater screen of how both Ghost Riders, Johnny Blaze, and Danny Ketch formed this group and their fight against different villains. You'll agree that this looks very interesting, especially for those avid fans of comic books. Only time will tell which theory could become true. For now, let's just keep our fingers crossed and let's hope that things will fall into place. Until further notice, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.